like motor mounts, battery trays, and whatnot. And it also, this really toughens the bottom of your boat up a lot. I have other boats that I've run, and I didn't do this with. And, you know, they work just fine. Because the, um, I'm going to try and attempt to trim on this fiberglass here that's sticking out like I don't like. Don't worry, I won't go through my boat haul because I've already resonated it. Resonated it in. So it's already pretty tough. Hopefully this razor knife is sharp enough to do the job and I'm trying to ask of it. Oh hallelujah, yes. And off we go here. Okay. Well, this is messing with my Nice, neat job here. Taka. Now, thankfully, I'm patient. See, I lifted it up, but no big deal. You take and push it back down with your squeegee. Get it back in there. And fix this disrupted head here. Push the squeegee. And get this resin all flowed back into where it belongs. I didn't really want to lift that up and do this twice. But you can see all is not lost if you don't freak. Freaking out doesn't solve anything. There. Oh, yeah, this is going to look good, man. It's going to look good. I think you guys would be happy to have this in your repertoire of boats. I know this boat will go out and kick somebody's rear once I finish outfitting it. It's going to be running a 4S LiPo system. And I'm going to run two 4S's, four, two 4S packs in parallel. So that it can only be getting 4S power to it. Now that's all down. I'm going to just take this little plastic rod here and poke the edge that gave me all the trouble and then right here along this edge make sure that I don't have any edges sticking up like I hate bumps in my mat. Oh yeah that is looking awful sweet. Real sweet. Now I take this after I get that looking the way I want it and I just kind of rub it down here. You don't have to do it very hard. The squeegee is going to take a lot of extra resin out. And what you do after you do that is you take your brush. This is what I do. See the accumulation of resin, and I just take my brush and swipe it off with my brush, if I can get it off. And then I let it go down there, get the rest off. See, look, i got a glob back here. I didn't even know it was there. There we go. And I'll put that in here, safekeeping. And then I'll take and examine it, and I've got a little build up here that I don't like. There. And there we go. And that, people, is how it is done. See, I've got these bumps here. I don't like going over these bumps because. It's really hard to get this mat to lay nice and flat over a bump like this. So I come up to it, and then I'll do the other side. And that bump is like that is tougher than anybody's business. That bump has been glued down. 
it's part of my bow. I cut it, my, my bulkhead, I cut it out, get it down low for low clearance for the battery trays. And then it's been resined on both sides and, and glued with some of that, uh, um, what is that glue? The cyanomactic uh, acrylic nuclear glue that you buy at your hobby store that stinks and burns your eyes. That's the stuff. And then I coated it all with all my edges have been coated with epoxy resin. Up and down the keel has all been epoxy resin. So like if you were to crash this boat, you'd get a hole everywhere but in the keel, which is kind of important. I split a keel once on my very first boat. And I could not, for the life of me, find the leak. And then I, I finally noticed a hairline crack right up the middle. And I flip checked it in the bathtub. Imagine that, putting it in the bathtub to look for leaks. Um, anyway, then I found it, epoxied the seam, and I have been epoxying my main seam like that ever since. And I never had a boat crack again. Thank God. I, I can't stand when I get a boat that cracks. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of epoxy resin that's left over on this little crutch holding my tube up. My stuffing box tube. And, uh, That way I don't have any unprotected wood inside the boat. You don't want any unprotected wood. Because, you know, these things get around water and the funny thing about water is it finds its way in someplace at every time. Usually through the top when you, when you open it up and service your boat, you know, with a new pack of batteries or something. And I'm just letting this resin just kind of ooze its way around this piece of block. And this is a piece of, um, just balsa. I'll tell you what, this balsa sucks this resin in like a sponge. And after it does that, it gets incredibly strong. You can also take your brush if you notice you're getting a, a puddle you don't want, and you can pick it up with your brush. And that's really handy to do around the edges. Anyway, that's how we do her at my house. And uh, good luck with your boat projects, folks. And you just continue the same procedure all the way up the front, which is going to be more difficult, signing off this.